Today I'm going to tell you about my first time shooting tethered with the Canon EOS R. This was a great experience and I highly recommend it in some circumstances. So let's go. You're a beautiful person, you're a good person, and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. Recently I had the chance to do something I've been wanting to do with my Canon EOS R for a while, and that's shoot tethered. I mean, you take the HDMI out right here, and you put that into your laptop, into your computer, and then you can adjust your camera settings from your laptop, and you can monitor each shot from the laptop. And there's reasons why you would do this and why you'd want to. You can't move around like you would normally do, but there are certain situations where that trade-off is okay. Uh, for example, shooting food photography, when the subject is on a table or on a flat surface and it's stable and it's not going anywhere, it's not a moving subject. And another one might be like a portrait session, like indoors at a studio where you have controlled lighting, you have limited space to move around in, and so you're not gonna be going very far, you're not gonna be walking all sides around the model or moving the model into different locations. I'm gonna be how to shoot tethered, and I'm also gonna be using two lights in a pop-up portrait session. I'm going to my church, there's couples renewing their vows, and they're gonna do some quick portrait following the service. So my plan is to be use the sun, it should be like golden hour, use the sun, in the back like a rim light and then position the other two lights as kind of like a key light and a fill light. I use a three point lighting system. I don't have a backdrop so I'm gonna shoot my 50 prime lens and I'm going to, because it's couples and they might be standing at different distances from the camera, I'm probably gonna shoot at F4. All right, so right here I have my camera set up. I have the uh, uh, Westcott umbrella over there under the eaves somewhere. My other light which is the uh, V860 flash on the Magmod Sphere uh, diffuser. And yeah, so I'm pretty happy. So I have this cart right here. I'm gonna set my laptop on it and we're just gonna try to shoot tethered for the first time. Lighting's good. Lighting, I give it an A. Uh, hopefully the sun holds. All right, I wanna show you how easy it is to shoot tethered. So my Canon EOS R has a USB-C out. So I'm gonna connect that right here. It's under the HDMI port. I'm gonna connect that right here, show you how easy that is. Snap that right in there, and then I'm gonna snap that right into the side of the laptop. You go to Lightroom, you just like File, Tethered Capture, Start Tethered Capture. I can give a session name, do a naming protocol, add where to save the pictures to, my pictures folder indicated, um, update the metadata or keywords, and I'm just gonna say, okay. Detecting camera, camera's in sleep mode, so I'm gonna turn it on. All right, so now we have one image in there. Here's the control panel or the camera controls. The camera is labeled here. The shutter speed is here, and I can change that by clicking the drop down. The aperture is here, so I can move that to like an F5. I can change the ISO here, make that 3200 white balance, whatever that is. Develop settings, so I can uh, apply a preset on input. So let's just do something obnoxious here. Desert sunrise. I'm gonna put these two GoPro cameras here. And, um, and then you see the image come in right here. And the preset is on there already. It's kind of cool, especially if, uh, if you have portrait settings that you know you might use. That's it. You saw how quick it was to set up. Plug into the camera, plug into the laptop, open Lightroom, choose file, tethered capture, and then you can stop it, you can trigger your capture. Um, what I did at this session with my church is I had a remote plugged into the side of the camera because the camera was up high on a tripod, and so I just uh, triggered it using the remote. Um, let's do another one here. Keys, another test capture, and you can see it comes in with my keys, applies the preset. Kind of cool, I could even say, hey, I want to do something crazy, like a, I have some Chris Howe high beam presets coming in here. Um, here's the same picture, almost identical, taken and applied the preset right away, raw image, and then the preset, there it is. It's a nice image. Good job, Chris Howe on your presets. That's it.